I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. Um, so for this week I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Um, this one is from Scrawler Box and if you're uh, if you know a Scrawler Box this isn't the usual box that you get from them. Um, if you're new to Scrawler Box um, that's uh, they're basically a monthly art subscription box uh, that you get a uh, selection of art materials with some paper and a uh, challenge and you create some art using those art materials. Um, it's a great way of getting um, used to new art materials um, um, seeing what you like what you don't like um, paper as well um, and just getting those creative juices flowing um, so for this week um, this is a scrawler box it is a box that you can purchase off of the website so it's not uh, this one's not a subscription as such uh, but it is a box that, um, uh, that they do on their website um, they have three actually um, and um, I've, I've got one of them I haven't got all three um, but basically I came across a review from Emily Arts a, f uh, a few months ago and um, I never knew that scrawler box actually did um this box and uh, i just thought it was such a great idea um i mentioned it to my husband and he actually bought it for me as a gift um so i thought i'd just take this opportunity to share um this box with you um see what we've got inside and create some art with it um so let's crack on and see what we've got okay let's see what we've got um, so right on the top here we've got a, a massive card and uh, pretty much fits the size of the box uh, it's a white blank card that says schooler blanks and in the box we've got the pencil case um, so as I said um, there are three boxes uh, this one has a pencil case in it and the other two have a sketchbook uh, and a mug uh, with different art supplies to work with those um, items uh, so they're not the same as the art materials in this box um, I will leave a link in the description below if you wanted to purchase your own box um, but yeah let's carry on and see what else we've got in the box I won't look at the back of the card because it does tell me uh, on the back I'm sure um, what's in the box um, nicely well packaged um, let's get all of that out of the way I think what I'll do is if I get everything out of the box and then we'll have a look at what we've got um, so we've got some paper um, which is great because I did um, I don't I uh, to be honest with you I don't really remember much of the review from Emily Arts um, it was a while ago um, so it's like seeing this for the first time all over again um but yeah you get some paper which is great and um, get to sketch out what you want to put on the uh, pencil case before you actually start and um, so you get an idea of what you want to do and play around with the art materials if you're not familiar with them um so um there's probably what five sheets here i think um I, it, it looks like it's been ripped from a pad um but do you know what it's fine it's you know the main focus is the pencil case not the the sketch pad um the pencil case itself uh, it's a nice um i don't know really know what you call these type of pencil cases um but i have wanted one for a while and i just think it's such a cool idea to actually create your own art on it um so it's a white blank uh, pencil case and it's like a canvas feel I love the fact that it's got the scrawler box um, label on there um, and nice zip at the top. Yeah, there's quite a bit of space in there as well and the fact that it slides down um, so you can easily access your um, art materials in your pencil case uh, is really cool. Um, so yeah, it's quite well made, uh, I would say. Um, so yeah. I like it and then we've got the art materials let's see what we've got let's just take everything out of the way and move that um, so let's see what we've got so uh, we've got the sticker uh, the uh, schooler um, logo uh, and it's white 
um, which is great. They really have thought about the presentation of this box. So I really like that. Um, it does look a little transparent, so my guess it's probably um, transparent a little bit, but um, we'll have a look a bit later. Um, and then we've uh, got some uh, sweets, candy. Um, they always include that in a scroller box. And again, uh, white Tic Tacs. Um, very thoughtful. Um, with attention to detail there. And then we've got a pencil. And it's a scroller blanks pencil with a white rubber and a white barrel of the pencil. So again, the thought of everything. And then we've got um, Posca pens. Um, so here we have, if you can see that, we've got aqua green. That's a nice colour, and it is five mil. Then we've got uh, slate grey, and that is again five mil. We have um, sunshine yellow, nice colour. And that's five mil. And we have ooh, raspberry. It's quite a pretty colour as well. And that's five mil. And then we have uh, just black. Um, and that's three mil. It's a slightly smaller nib. And we've got a white focus pen. And that is also three mil. So this is basically what you get in the box. Um, so that will just, here we go. So that just tells you uh, what's in the box. Um, so we've got the practice paper is uh, Gecko Freestyle Paper, which is perfect for Posca pens. Um, so it's a, uh, as I said, it's a great way of practicing on the paper before you uh, do your final piece on the um pencil case so i'm gonna have a think about what i want to do um if you don't know me i am all about nature um, and vibrant colors um so i will probably do something along those lines um doing something nature related um, um but yeah i'm looking forward to this one um so i'll do a swatch of the art materials um, and then I'll do a time lapse of me uh, creating on this pencil case and I'll come in at the end of the video um, with my thought process of the art um, and these art materials and the box itself. Um, so I will see you at the end of the video. Enjoy the time lapse. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers
into your driveway it's a saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress i like you're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes girl i can tell that you have something on your mind but i will make you forget all your sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on
okay so we're at the end of the video and this is what I've created um, so I did do some concepts before I actually um, decided to, to do this this was actually my first idea um, and these were the concepts um, I was trying to figure out how to uh, basically do the layering and that um, what order to do it in um, and then uh, played around with the color combinations and whatnot I even watered down um, the um, markers just to see um, if I could do something with that I, I liked it but I just didn't think it would be good for what I wanted to create um, I did do some more concepts um, uh, this was an idea with the sunset and water um, trees and possibly some birds flying um, and then some foliage with birds because I really actually wanted to do a bird um, to be honest and um, the more I thought about it the more I was like no I'm, I'll stick with my first um, design my first concept um, I just to scratch that itch I did do a bird um, uh, for the most part I liked how it came out but um, I'm glad I didn't actually do it on, on the pencil case um, but yeah um, the back I'm going to do something a bit different um, it will still be kind of sea life um, based but uh, a bit different to the front um, I, the reason why I didn't do the back was it's just it was just quite time consuming uh, to do this um, and um, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, once I've done it I'll just upload a post on my Instagram so if you want to check that out that is Lou Lovelock Art um, but yeah um, for the most part I'm really happy with how it came out um, I decided on a whim to do the sea turtle and I kind of regret it. Um, it it's not as refined as I'd like it to be um, I just felt like it needed something there um, but um, everything else I'm really happy with it I really like how the water came out um, the pens actually work quite well on there it is a little bit streaky um, but um, yeah they work really well uh, it takes a little while to dry but being fabric uh, I should have expected that I had paint all over me um, the one thing I was a little bit disappointed with was the white uh, Posca pen um, I was expecting it to be a bit more opaque um, so I did go over it a couple of times and I could carry on going over it to get uh, it more opaque um, but to be honest with you I actually kind of like the transparency um, because water is kind of like that um, and, if, and if you can tell my idea was that the, the waves were coming in um, so this was kind of my crazy idea um, is that the waves were coming into uh, onto the beach um, but yeah, so this is what I've created. Um, I hope you like the uh, art video and the time lapse and what I've created. Um, please do leave a comment down below of your thoughts of um, of this box uh, as well. I will leave a link in the description of this box and the other two that you can get. Um, it is a lot of fun to, to create something um, on um, material, a mug or a sketchbook. So. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I may even get um, one of the other boxes and possibly do a review on that as well. But um, yeah, if you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but yeah, um, th this is it for the end of the video. Um, please do give me a like, share and a subscribe and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.